Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what happens if I refuse to blow into a breathalyzer? If you refuse a breath, or a urine test for that matter, then several things happen. First, your license is automatically and immediately suspended. If it's a first refusal, then you have a 12-month suspension, and if it's a subsequent refusal, you're going to have an 18-month suspension. Second, you're going to get transported from the police station to the jail. Third, if your refusal is not the first time that you've refused a breath or a urine sample, then you can be charged with an independent first-degree misdemeanor under Florida Statute 316.1939 for subsequent refusal to submit to testing. Finally, if you go to trial, then at that trial, the state gets both a rebuttable presumption that you are impaired and also gets to argue your consciousness of guilt, meaning the state attorney can literally tell your jury that the reason that you did not blow was because you knew that if you did blow, then the jury would have a breath card that proved your legal intoxication. That said, you also have to consider what happens if you do blow. A blow over the legal limit of .08 generates a computer printout of your breath alcohol content, a document which the state will seek to introduce into evidence, and if admitted, then it will be published to the jury, it will be lauded as the most reliable thing since the atomic clock, it will be sent back with the jury to the jury room as a piece of physical scientific evidence, they will consider it during your deliberations and deciding whether or not you're guilty. If you blow under the legal limit, you can still be arrested and also asked to provide a urine sample. And if you blow but your breath can't be read, or if you provide breath samples which are not within .02 of one another and then refuse a third breath sample, or if the cop simply alleges that you were argumentative or combative with him about taking the breath test, then any of those circumstances can and will be considered a refusal. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.